Good day, wherever you are. I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman, and this is our 21st Century Superhuman show. Wow, what a time we're living in. I just could not help but share today how exciting it is that the Schumann resonance has literally been spiking for days. Now, if you know what the Schumann resonance is, it's kind of a measurement of the energy field of the earth. And it's known to spike. I wrote about this in my book. It's known to spike when we, for instance, there's a Super Bowl and there's a whole lot of people focused together. And the Schumann resonance will spike and go up really high because that is literally, it's earth energy, it's sky energy, it's solar energy, but it's also literally a mirroring of us and our intention, our focus. And what we do in 21st century superhuman lifestyle and perspectives is we're always coming back to how do we fit into this whole picture? What is required of us in this great change that we're in on planet Earth? First of all, we're so lucky to be in these times of great change. It may be like a little bit intense and scary and like, what do we do next? And how do we handle all this? And what do we do with ourselves? But what, and what's happening right now with the whole quarantine and having everyone isolated, one of the beauties of it is we're having to go inward and say, who am I? What am I here for? What am I doing? Am I accomplishing my purpose? And um, can I new, find new ways to accomplish my purpose? So with all of us, first of all, we've got huge amount of lights coming in, light coming into the planet. We've been seeing it in our world in very technicolor light around us. And depending on where you are, it may vary. However, Notice, are you feeling intense energies? Are you feeling this flow of energy coming into the planet? Are you feeling it? And do you know what to do with it? And at the end this morning, before we close, I'm going to share with you the hot toddy that I'm drinking, which is one of the ways that I help balance my body to stay alkaline, to stay comfortable in these times that feel like pressure. It's a different kind of pressure. We're not like so much like little rats on the wheel running off to work every day, looking at the watch, the eternal watch of time that doesn't really exist. We have to learn how to live in new ways. And those new ways have to do with the flow of our being. So this human resonance being so big for days, it's spiked higher than almost ever before. And it's gone on for days at a time. So if you can feel this energy, Part of it is that in the outer, it's the solar waves coming in, it's the solar flares and the CMEs, the corona mass ejections. It is gamma rays coming from space, literally recorded by NASA. But again, it is us. Think of how much humanity is waking up at this moment in Earth's history while we're in this quarantine. Everybody's watching news, they're watching regular news, they're watching alternative news. What we want to notice with um, one of my friends calls um, the television, the tele-lie vision, you know, so we're telling a lie to our vision because it's sort of a corporate organized kind of program that is getting us to understand certain things in a way where certain other agendas can be driven forward. However, many are now watching the alternative news, which is telling us about the shadows that have been going on behind the scenes in humanity. And these shadows are you know, they challenge our souls. They make us go, wow, how can there be this kind of pain, suffering, war, abuse of people, human trafficking, um, 
just there's so much going on and we want to become angry the show that i did yesterday um, and these shows will ultimately be in my members area on youtube we actually have a new uh youtube contingency where i can have members join there and if you just um support my station just a little bit i think it's like five bucks a month or something it's not a lot but it helps us keep going with everything that we're doing so all these live recordings are going to end up there so you can go back and find them and listen to them if there was something really good that you wanted to use to guide your life by so the purpose of these every day is to help just provide insights 21st century superhuman insights into how all this quantum physics and ancient prophecies and light coming into the planet this shift of the ages that we're in how do we live in it how do we arrange ourselves how do we set up our thinking and so right now with this human resonance literally it is all of us focused together that is raising this human resonance it isn't outside of us it isn't an accident it's a mirroring it's a mirroring of us it's a mirroring of our focus coming together coming into our hearts coming into our minds coming into our spirits it's a it is a response to us a response of the planet the living breathing hologram that we live in the living breathing earth the living breathing sky the galactic sky and the sun and all of the stars and the moon all of that is sending a resonance back to us as we send out a resonance so we're in this beautiful awakening process and we are living more awake as we're in quarantine we've pulled away from relationships which really are a normal part of us which is kind of something to take a look at should we really be limiting ourselves in that way however all of this there's an old saying that says you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth and ultimately the truth within us is that we are creators we are divine creators and that which we think that which we feel that which we are emanating into this world is what is going to show up around us and so what i teach over and over and over is we have old data inside us that needs to be removed that is the old data of anger of hate of resistance to our brothers and sisters of hating that which is evil all of these things those energies must be let go from us and that's in book two mind of um point that way of 21st century superhuman which will be out in about a month and a half when we have the audios done but right now we're going into sometime this week or next week it's already up in paperback on amazon but shifted to ages book one is coming out in a third edition remember to get the one with the little gold seal because that's the one that's current it's been brought up to date with our now and it has the new beautiful cover um, but we'll have it out in an ebook and audiobook for you just really shortly within days. So we're working really hard behind the scenes, like little chunks, working to get the stuff done for you. Um, can't even tell you how many hours a day we spend on it. So um, it's here, it's coming, it's on the way. So to be really aware, how are we focusing ourselves? Are we breathing? smiling are we centering in love are we entering into love in our hearts are, are we even looking at the shadows and saying i can love you i can see you as part of the human experience part of the human journey part of the process that i've needed to mirror to give me contrast what is darkness inside of me what is darkness how does it manifest in in my world when i am focused outside of love so let's make our objective today to focus in love ask yourself what have i been angry about or hurt about or frustrated about or scared about that i can breathe smile and center love around today think about that one thing and if you can put a message under this video and um, or the video when it shows up in my youtube members area send me a message and let me know what you are choosing to turn around in your life today with love what are you choosing to cancel release and let go of by breathing smiling and centering love around it 
So let's talk about the beverage that I'm drinking this morning because this really helps me. It helps me to stay in a loving state. It helps me to stay in a kind, happy state. It helps me to stay alkaline. We're like an alkaline battery. Remember those early alkaline battery commercials and they run longer than the other batteries? So we are really designed to be, you know, an ever ready battery. We're designed to run forever seriously. We're not designed to break down and die. You know, we are, and death is really a transition to another level of our being. So we'll look at that in some other videos. But for today, talking about this, it's a really wonderful, mine is made with lime, but you can make it with lemon. So I have limes here. I have organic honey. Can you support your local organic honey growers? I have baking soda. We're not advertising Arm & Hammer, but baking soda like you can get in your grocery store or Bob's Red Mill is a good brand to get. And then I have essential oils. I have tea tree oil and I have a couple of others. I have clove and oregano oil. Now these are, if you go to PubMed, actually under this video, I've put the link to my longer video on um, taking care of your natural immunity. And I talk about all these things in that video and much more. So that's a good thing to watch if you want to be taking care of your body right now. If we believe that maybe there's a virus out there or maybe this um, traumatic um, thing that's happening around the planet to some people is coming from 5G. We can look at there's different ways to take care of ourselves so that we're strong in the light of all of this. Now remember, there's yogis who could take a thousand hits of LSD and not even be affected by them. So we need to learn to live as yogis, to strengthen our bodies, to live as a yogi in this world and transmute everything. And it's a big leap from 3D that, oh my gosh, that stuff is going to kill us, to, wow, I can live as an enlightened, radiant presence in this world. And I cannot even be, that stuff can't even touch me. So this is a really different way to live. When I say to people, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because I know how I'm taking care of myself. So again, we just make some hot water or you could do it with cool water if you don't have a way to heat it. But I like making hot water and I use our good plasma water, which we'll be talking more about that, which is very special. And in the cup, I put about a tablespoon or whatever my favorite amount of organic honey is. And if you're vegan, you might want to use agave syrup or cocoa syrup, something else that is made without using, you know, the elements of creatures. Um, but I, we love honey. We get fresh jungle honey here, which is amazing. So, so I have a couple of limes. I just put one lime in per cup. So if you're using a lemon, maybe it would be a half a lemon, right? Because they have more juice of these little limes. And then bicarbonate of soda, about a half a teaspoon per cup. Um, we figured this out by testing our urine with pH strips. You can get pH strips on Amazon. That's more about that in my video, which is under this one. The link is under this one. Um, and so I kind of learned what it was that gave me the right amount of bicarbonate to put me my pH at about 7.2 on a daily basis. And 7.2, a lot of us tend to be, man, I mean, I've been at 4.5 and 5 when I've had really weird illnesses in my life. But, and I've also been in 6 commonly, even as a vegetarian or vegan um, and, but since I've started using a little bit of bicarbonate of soda, I can boost myself up to 7.2. And we've also been doing Wim Hof breathing. I'm going to have somebody on in a few days sharing his experience with Wim Hof breathing with us. And you literally, we literally become alkaline when we do Wim Hof breathing. So I, so once I put the baking soda, bicarbonate of soda, and the lime juice and the honey into my cup, I add hot water and add it slowly because it'll kind of buzz, it'll fizzle up, it'll fizz up and make a little foam, which is the, the lime juice and the baking soda acting with each other. For years, I drank just lemon or lime juice and water and use that, but I can hardly drink that anymore because it's a little harsh. And I've switched to this. And one of the secrets, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't use honey, I shouldn't use sugar. But one of the secrets of this is that the bicarbonate 
with the honey, if you have any aberrant, if I have any aberrant cells in my body, the the cell is going to want the honey. And so it will carry the baking soda in there like a Trojan horse and it will get to the cell and it will turn the cell alkaline and disease cannot live in an alkaline body. And this has been proven by a number of physicians around the world, again, in the video that I posted under this video. So once I filled my beautiful mug up with hot water and I have my lime juice, honey, and baking soda in there, then I add just a drop. I like to add, I use oregano oil on a daily basis. It's a little harsh for some people. And I also use a little clove oil if I feel like I may be dealing with some kind of a parasitic bacterial activity because I live in the tropics. Um, but it'll be different for each person. Our favorite mainstay is tea tree oil. And tea tree oil was used in World War II as an antibiotic because they didn't have penicillin. Now, all of these essential oils have been written up in something called PubMed, which does tons of research, and they're shown to be antibiotic, antiviral, antiparasitical, antibacterial. And so why wouldn't we want to include a couple drops of essential oils every day, get them into our bodies so we're building a protective mechanism? We're breathing, smiling, and loving, and we're living in a way that changes us to change the world. So be sure to put a message under the video. What are you changing in yourself today? Or how are you using these ideas to shift yourself and to get rid of that old data, which has created something outside of love in our world? And let's gather together. Please share this video with your friends. Help grow our community. Help build the community. Um, once it's in YouTube, you can subscribe. I'm also posting these in Instagram. So I believe it's 21st Century Superhuman in Instagram and 21st Century Superhuman in YouTube. You can follow us and subscribe because this, as we grow this community and we share this knowledge, we literally, it goes out in a domino effect in the world and we keep elevating the Schumann resonance. We keep elevating this energy that is, it's like a loop. We begin sending out good energy and good energy is coming back to us. And new creations are being born in this, in this world right now. Don't get too focused, micro focus on one, oh my God, this is terrible. There, this is terrible. That is terrible. Go through that. Feel it. Feel your unconsciousness, apathy, grief, fear, anger, pain, like we talked about yesterday, and bring it up into love. Follow our chart that we did yesterday. Bring it all up into love. Let yourself experience it on the conscious mental level. And by this, you will literally free it from having to be carried around in you. And then say, I can love you. I can love this experience. I can love this journey. I can love it that all of us came to experience this together and to be born into a new earth world. We are now birthing the new age. We are birthing, as the Mayans talked about, we're at the end of an age and the beginning of an age. And it's like when the tide changes in the ocean and there's a tide coming in and a tide going out and it's turbulent there. So we're feeling that turbulence. However, the more we breathe, smile, love, get centered in our hearts, learn who we really are, speak our truth, speak our truth with kindness, live our own creativity and joy. We literally are birthing this new world and let us help the children do that as well. Okay, much love to all. Have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing you next time. are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone Let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see you when I look
look into your eyes We are the same and we are light Yeah, we are one Here now, hear my ancient prayer And sing along, we are awakening as one And we can make a difference Yeah, we can be the change it takes To make the world a lot more fun if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are oh now child please don't frown you can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far i am a 21st century superhuman and i know that the answers are inside Century soon, human now, now, now is the time. Now, now, now is the time.